All right, hey, what's up, guys? We're back with some more Joffrey, uh, Clash of Kings. Let's get into it. Uh, we're starting out. I just we're at war with uh, the North, Rob Stark in the North, and we also have Dagmar Cleftjaw, uh, stupidly trying to invade the Iron Throne. I don't really know what his plan with that is, but we're gonna we're gonna kill him right now. We're gonna slaughter his entire host. Joffrey will take part in this battle. He's our actually. He's not half bad as a commander, actually. 18 Marshal. It's actually pretty good. Another thing that I noticed is some of the Veilmen, even though Robert, Robert Aaron, even though he hasn't joined me, some of the Veilmen know their place. We have Witch Isle, Gold Town, the Bloody Gate, and Pebble have decided to join us in the war against Rob Stark, so that is uh, very appreciated. Let's send this fleet of ships back to King's Landing. And Aaron Santagar, you are a commander of the Iron Throne. You are the uh, master at arms in the books. You can marry as you please, man. I don't really care. Alone. Alone. Are you kidding? What? Lady Daenerys Stormborn has just usurped the title, uh, title Lordship of Dragonstone from Lady Shireen of Shipbreaker Bay. After listening to the advice of a group of my bannermen led by Lord Voltis Sunglass of Sweetport Sound, I hereby relinquish my position as Lady of Dragonstone in favor of Daenerys Targaryen. Okay. You just gave up Dragon You just gave up Dragonstone to Daenerys. And she's here. Cause like in this in this scenario, she doesn't have anything to do with Marine. Yeah, like, she doesn't have any land there. So she's in Dragonstone, and she's 100% focused on this now. What is she under? She's under Pentos, really. Is she... Oh my gosh, that is not good. She's disfigured, though. What the hell happened to you? A face few could love. Yeah, this Targaryen... Targaryen whore. She doesn't even... I heard that. <laughs> oh god. I heard that in the Kalazar, the horses had her way, their way with her. Obviously, a horse might have bit off her face or something. Jeez, Louise, she's disfigured. Disgusting. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to cleanse Dragonstone of her horror. Your Grace, I write my yeah yeah. yeah. Uh, you're upset that Sir Bronn has an army is leading. Estermont, you can. I don't really care what you think, man. What's this? My mother to Trist... No, why does everyone want to marry my mother? And the Dornish hate me anyway. Like, I'm not going to give you them my mother. I'm not going to give my mother away. What I was going to do was... Minor titles. Bryce the Orange. This was one of Renly's Kingsguard. Rainbow Guard. Um, Sir Brian the Axe. I don't know who that is. And Davos the Onion Knight. You want to be one of my commanders? Yeah, sure, man. We send uh, Stannis beyond the wall. He's still doing good. He's alive. He's Oh, yeah, he's one-legged. I forgot about that. He's doing good up there. How is Shireen doing? 170 men. Betrothed to Edric Storm, so the Baratheon line will survive, which is good for them. If I kill Shireen, I inherit. Let's plot to kill Shireen real quick. See how that goes. See if anyone feels like joining. Peter Baelish, 30%. 246%. Melisandre. That's a lot of plot power. How come you don't want to join, though? Hmm. All right. We're going to spend a fortune on inviting a whole bunch of people to kill Shireen. With Shireen out of the picture, I'll inherit myself. And then I'll give... The Stormlands and uh, Storm's End to whoever, to whoever I deem worthy. This is just cleaning up some a few loose ends. And the Stormlords shouldn't necessarily like this uh, Shireen because she is a false religion and she is horribly disfigured and ugly from the uh, Grayscale. So I just spent a fortune on getting people to want to murder Shireen, so let's see how that goes. We just defeated Dagmar Cleftra. I wasn't even paying attention. 
Yeah, enforce demands, buddy. In jail. I'm really sorry about this. Do you have any treasure? Foam drinker. Hmm. We're gonna execute you. We're gonna behead you, buddy. So there you go. And I stole this ship. Excellent. Foam drinker is now part of my Royal Navy, I believe. Yes, down here. Excellent. Dagmar Clefjaw's ship is now in my command. Under my command. Now, all we have to worry about is uh, Rob Stark for the moment. The majority of the realm has joined against him. The Lannisters, Dorne, Tyrells. It's not looking good for him. Renly of Estermont. Stormlander Rebellion. Uh, where? 24... You kidding. We're gonna have Davos uh, be the guardian of Marcella. So once Shireen's dead, Marcella can uh, take her place for Davos as his uh, half-adopted daughter. You know, we're gonna steal Davos away from his children, bring him to the Red Keep. He's actually, wait a minute. Davos is R'hllor? Really? I did not expect that. Sympathy for Westerosi gods. Davos, you've... You've betrayed the Seven. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen to you because of that. Peasant Revolt has ended. All right, nice. Currently, we have the Veil Men raiding and pillaging in the Trident. Excellent. Rob Stark is still nowhere to be seen. Uh, Elwood Meadows. He wants to duel. You can uh, you can face my Kingsguard. Excellent. Fight well, Loris. Oh no, your champion Loris lies injured after being forced to yield. Sir Ergen stands victorious. Really? He's only a six. At least Loris... At least Loris isn't dead. Alright, good. Loris Tyrell survived. Petron revolting against the Reachmen. Excellent, Shireen died. Excellent, Shireen was murdered. Perfect. And I've inherited success. The hunter did what he was paid for and made sure Lady Shireen never returned from her hunting trip. He will keep quiet about this ghastly deed to save his own skin, if nothing else. To hunt a man is truly the greatest hunt, I think I was going to say. Lady Shireen Baratheon died without any blood relative. Well, I'm her blood relative. I'm a Baratheon, just like she is. We're cousins. I'll... What's this? I, be... I gain tyranny if I steal Edric's claim. I don't want tyranny. We're going to give it to Edric, and then we'll kill him as well. I know, everyone's really upset. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm going to kill him, don't worry. Oh my god. Lady Shireen's debts? I don't owe anyone any debt. I'm not paying anyone... I'm not paying Shireen's debts. She was a traitor to the realm. Her father was, at least. I'm not paying a rebel's debts. Edric, he's an Estermont. That's a cre- that's- I feel like Estermont is definitely a family that's already- that already exists. Grandison, hang on a minute. That's a insane looking flag, I'm not gonna lie, but Estermont is definitely a family that exists. Yeah, what the- it, look at this. Estermont, down here. With the- much less impressive flag of a turtle or something that's not at nearly as cool as the flaming heart of Estermont. Legitimized bastard, Edric of Shipbreaker Bay. You would be a cool character if you weren't about to be murdered. Enjoy, enjoy your rule while it lasts, Edric. Oh, and we got a new, uh, we got a new, um, Archmaester from the Citadel. But Grandmaster Pycelle's still alive, so I don't know why we have him. But Ramsey Karstark, really? Alright, nice. A Northman. I do not trust him. I don't know why. I don't know why we're allowing a Northman in the court while we're currently in a civil war with the North. Let's march to River Run for right now. What's this? Beric Dondarian. 
I'm not gonna let... I'm not gonna let this Chosen by Relore ma- Or do I want to let him fight? I'm definitely not handling it myself. Lord's Tyrell failed me his last attempt, and I don't... I'm not confident. We're not gonna- you're not gonna duel anybody. If anything, buddy, you can go to the wall. I'll see you later. Go fight the White Walkers for me. The wall is actually holding 27% towards the wall. We now have Stannis Baratheon, Azor Ahai Reborn, and Relor's own chosen, um, Beric Dondarrion on the wall. Look at this. We'll- we'll create the perfect, uh, Night's Watch defense. We're creating, like, the- I don't even know. Azor Ahai and his band of brothers. Lord Paramount Tywin has inherited Castle of Fang Tower from Sir Gregor. Really, dot the mountain that rides just died. Under suspicious circumstances, he was murdered, probably. <laughs> so there goes the uh, Cleganes, unless the Hound gets released. Stan Baratheon was murdered by a White Walker. That is not surprising, considering he was one-legged. The White Walker of the Winter. 7,000 men. And the wall was just in... Yeah, the wall was just taken. Yeah, the wall's gonna fall. <sighs> Once we crush the North, we're gonna have to deal with them. We're gonna have to deal with what the mess that the North left behind. Prince Tommen for the Iron Throne. Whoa! Princess Daenerys for the Iron Throne. What is this? What is this? This disfigured monstrosity? That's who you want sitting on the Iron Throne? A Westerosi Valerian? You don't look Westerosi at all. You look... I don't know. You look like a freak. I'll tell you that. Air Tommen. Damn, damn, damn. There's too many usurpers. I mean, Edric really isn't a usurper, but... There's too many usurpers just sitting around. Too many usurpers. We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to go to war with Pentos. Oh my gosh, there's so many wars on the horizon. We're at war with the North. Currently camped out in River Run. Edric. Damn, Edmir, I mean. Damn, why can't you be in my court? Disfigured. Tywin's disfigured, too. What happened to you? Jeez Louise, you're depressed. Tywin is on death's door right now. Now, the real question is, will we be able to survive the march to Winterfell? And do I really feel like marching a vast majority of my army up north with Pentos and Daenerys Stormborn, the dragon rider, looming on the horizon? They're literally... In the Bay of King's Landing, they can send a fleet straight in, Daenerys at the head, and immediately take King's Landing. That's why Joffrey's in River Run. I'm afraid, I'm afraid River, uh, King's Landing might fall too quickly. Joffrey is actually safest on the battlefield. We're gonna march him up north. We need to... We can't show fear to the Northmen. I don't know what Daenerys is planning. I don't know what Pentos is planning. But what I do know is the North... They need to kneel. Rob Stark is still in Pike, or on Pike. Good for me. Uh, Balon is in Shadowmoor. They're actually... Interesting. So, Rob Stark is on Pike, and he just took Pike over completely. So the Iron Islands are falling one by one. But, Balon does not seem to be worried at all. He's taking the Hill Clans again. He's now at Shadowmoor. Hopefully, he might be able to hold them this time. Uh, terrain is key to winning battles. We're now in the north, open fields. Well, right now we're in bog lands, but... I think... I think the north is mostly open fields. Open plain. Like like I said, I know right now we're in bog land, but, like, up here it's open. 
Good news, my co-conspirator Lord Guns Gunster of Rosby has let me know that Lord Edric of Shipbreaker Bay will soon have a tragic fall off the castle parapets. Hopefully this works. With this, we'll inherit Storm's End. Oh my god, another peasant revolt. Why? Blasted traitors. We can't do anything about them right now. New Lord Commander on the wall. Uh, just some nobody. We can actually raise Storm's End. We'll send... We'll fight them. What's this? You decided not to join the war? Excellent! Died under suspicious circumstances. I've inherited his titles, success. He died quick and presumably painless death. Excellent, Storm's End is now mine. Excellent. I mean, as it should be. It's It was my father's castle before mine. Let's raise up some men to fight these peasants. I'm interested as to why these men didn't rise up the first time I called them. The enemy is flanking. You rallied some men. Am I in a fight? What the? 